So now let's see how we can work around with lightning and ramp effect inside of Adobe Premiere Elements. So to work around with those, I'm going to go to Project Assets and then import out a footage right here. Let's say for example, let me just go around and bring in this footage and bring it under video one right here. So once I do that, in order to apply lightning and ramp, I'm going to expand out the effects section right here. Then after that, I'm going to go around and expand the uh, effects section out and then go to render. And over here, you can see that lightning is an effect. And as I were to keep on it, then you get the lightning effect as you can see right here. You can go around and change around the segment right here, the amplitude of the lightning, the detail level of the lightning, and you can go around and so forth. As you can see, the detail level, and you can also change around the branching, the rebranching, and so forth. You can also go around and choose around the color as you can see right here. Like you can choose the color yellow right here, and that is what you have. So you can go around, go for rebranching right here, change around the branch angle, the segment length, and so forth, and right here. So you can also go around change the branch width and the speed of the branch and the stability of the branch right here. You can go for fixed endpoint or it can be um, a moving freely as well. You can also change around the width right here and the width variation as you can see just like this. So that is what you have. And you can go around change around the core width as well. So that is what you have. And you can also go around change around the inside color to be something else as well. So now, uh, if I were to go for full force and then full direction right here, you can go for random speed and you can also go for screen and so forth and then change this out. So if I were to go around and press the uh, play button right here, then you can see that that is the lightning effect that you have right here. So now uh, that is what you have. So you can see the lightning effect actually going around and then playing around as per the settings I'm working with. So that is how you can work around with the lightning effect. So apart from that, there's the ramp effect, as you can see, that you can click and drag out onto the footage right here. And then there's the start color and an end color. So let's say, for example, I can go around and start it off with, let's say, light blue right here, just like this, and the end color to be white. And then you can see that the ramp to be radial right here, you can make it radial or linear. And you can go around and go for ramp scatter right here, just like this and then go for blend with original as well. And as you see, you can blend it out right here, just like this, and uh, work around with the ramp as you like, just like this. So that is how you can work around with the lightning and ramp effect inside of Adobe Premiere Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.